one of uh, Speaking in a press conference at a Nairobi hotel, the national coordinator of the Albinism Society of Kenya, Isaac Maura, told the media that having musician Salif Keita come into Kenya will positively influence their campaigns since he was a beacon of hope to all people living with the albinism condition. They too can become uh, international uh, stars, they too can become leaders, they too can support their families. The, the story African of Union's a Kenyan man of who the musician as Africa's ambassador of peace and security will go a long way in providing the competence of people with the albinism condition. Persons with albinism, given chance and time, they too can make it to the highest level. Salif Keita has experienced discrimination since he was five years old, but that did not stop him from pressing on in life. In 2005, he went on to establish the Salif Keita Global Foundation, based both in Mali and Washington, D.C. in America, to help fellow people with their condition. Disorder is a recessive gene that exists in all people born on this earth. Albinos are said to have a life expectancy of 30 years due to the risk of skin cancer. I think they, they are not educated. It's by ignorance. I think so, because they don't have any explanation about albinism. They don't know. Both Salif and Kumba feel African governments can do more to protect individuals with this condition. He wrote a song on albinism that earned him an award in France and will keep using his talent to change people's perception on albinism across the world.